here is how this measurement method works. Differential and pressure flow meters have an artificial restrictions integrated into the measuring tube, illustrated here by the example of an orifice plate. Two holes are located in the pipe wall, one before and one after the orifice plate. Two separate tubes connect these holes to a differential pressure sensor. With its pressure chambers separated by a diaphragm, the tiniest pressure differences in the flowing fluid can be precisely measured. If the fluid is not flowing, the pressure before and after the orifice plate is essentially identical. As soon as the fluid starts to flow, its velocity around the orifice plate increases significantly because of the restriction in the cross section. At the same time, due to the law of fluid mechanics, the static pressure at this point decreases. Consequently, different values are detected in the pressure chambers of the sensor, a higher pressure before and a lower pressure after the orifice plate. This pressure difference is directly proportional to the flow velocity and thus to the mass and volume flow in the pipe. The higher the flow velocity and the resulting drop in the pressure around the orifice plate, the greater the differential pressure measured. In numerous industrial applications, the orifice plate covers many needs of flow measurement technology. However, other designs are available for certain measuring tests to minimize undesired effects, such as excessive pressure loss or abrasion of components due to solids carried in the fluid. This demonstration shows that an abrupt restriction generates severe turbulence in a fluid. Here is an example of a small orifice. A small orifice 0.0003 square meter in area is in the vertical side of a rectangular tank. The horizontal sectional area of the tank is 0.40 square meter. At a given instant, the heat on the orifice is 1.2 meter and 112 seconds later, it is 0.6 meter. Compute the value of coefficient of discharge C. So, here's the ideal values. A is equal to 0 0.003 square meter, which is the area of the uh, small orifice. And A sub S is equal to 0 0.40 square meter, the area of horizontal section. And the H1, as you can see, is 1.2 meter. And after 300 seconds, the H is equal to 0 0.6, which is the H2. So we must find the C, which is the equation of this case. So using the formula, E is equal to 2 times E sub S times square root of H1 minus square root of H2 over CA times square root of QG. So since we have that, we have these values, we can we just substitute to the formula. And we have 312 equals 2 times 0 0.40 times square root of 1.2 minus square root of 0.6 over C times 0 0.0003 times square root of 2 times 981. So by calculating the value of C, we got 0 0.62. So that's the equation of the search.